What's good, superstars? Back with another digital collecting video. You got superstar Joe. You got superstar Rob in the building. How's it going, Rob? Pretty good. Yeah? I mean, you wanted your own video. You got one. You got a big video coming up right now, guys. Stay tuned for the entire one. But before you do, don't forget, become a superstar. Smash the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell notification so you stay up to date with all of the drama in the space. That's all that we've been covering lately because people are going crazy out there. Crazy. Follow us. Uh, you can become a superstar VIP, $2.99 a month. Hit the join button under the video. You get one of these stars next to your name. Level up through the stars. We're still looking for those super duper rare comments. It's coming. I don't know if it's this week. I don't know if it's next week, but it is in <laughs> June that we'll be seeing that. This is exclusive giveaways for stars in the universe. Also entries into our superstar utility program. Follow us on X, follow us on Instagram. Join the Discord. Discord is where it's at. You can come join the Discord. Even if this video is about you, you can come join the Discord. We'll talk to you there. We can have a great conversation over there if you choose to ever come in there. Link is in the description. Very fun times. I've been seeing some familiar faces come in there talking about all their favorite projects. It's been a great time. And we appreciate all of the support on uh, a bunch of our videos, especially one of our last videos on the Cryptoids project that we did where we we're going over all the things that are wrong with Cryptoids. And uh, a lot of you guys really loved it. So thank you so much for staying tuned with that. Um, so Joe, Rob, I think Joe, you got something up there that we got to do a giveaway. Yeah. So first of all, I want to thank the London police for coming on our channel. We had a wonderful video with them and uh, I got to give credit to the guys over there because they said that they will do a giveaway. So it is a VV giveaway. We they didn't say which one. They just said that if you were able to add them, their socials uh, on X, then go to their discord and in their discord, write down hashtag giveaway in the superstar channel. You would be entered to win. And luckily, we got, it looks like, 28 entries. Pretty good. I love the London police. They love the yeah. London police. Pretty good turnout. So we're going to go ahead and roll the wheel. Whoever gets this is going to be the winner. And uh, I guess we'll pass the information over to them. And I, maybe they have the, uh, they probably speak to Dan or or, or to David, and, and they can do the transfers on their end. So good luck to you yep. all. All right. Let's see who's going to win this. Come on. May Who the juju be, be with you. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's going to be. Oh. That's a tight one. Jambert. There you go. Jambert so, with the win. Nice. I mean, this should be very easy to get in touch with them because you had to be in the Discord, uh, the London Police Discord to uh, enter for right. this. Um, so I right. think we can just go in there and uh, say, at Jambert, congrats, you're the winner. And we can let uh, D-Roy know and, uh, and the London Police. And this was fun. This was fun. If you guys haven't seen that interview, it was a lot of fun. Actually painting the side of a building yeah, during the interview it's incredible go check out our london police interview it was so cool just watching like him in action you know yeah like we just come from a different world like we don't do we're not artists we're not on the side of buildings painting murals <laughs> so when you get to see someone else in their element in their in their industry in their profession doing what they're doing it was amazing to watch and he was obviously having a lot of fun doing it too it was really cool yeah, he's backing up from the building, climbing scaffold. Guys, it was like Spider-Man in real life. You got to go check it out. Um, yeah. I wanted to show <laughs> something very quickly. I don't know if you've seen this, Rob, but uh, shout out to, uh, to Pro Akomi for putting this together uh, for everybody to laugh. Digital Collectible Enthusiast. We're going to play the whole thing here. It's 50 seconds. Anand presents Digital Collectible Enthusiasts. Digital Collectible Enthusiasts. Today, we salute you. Mr. VV Digital Collector. <laughs> no, who does he show to me? <laughs> While others display their action figures, you showcase your exclusive VV Digital Collectibles with pride. Check out my AR Red Hulk. Who needs physical space when you have VV Alt Storage? Locked away in the vault now. <laughs> so, crack open your VV Vault and get to creating. Oh, keeper of the collectibles. Because in a world of commons, you are a secret rare. <laughs> <laughs> well done, well done. So, I mean, bro, always bro. bringing the heat. <laughs> That's Good job, be man. official commercial. VV, hire the man to be in Put charge that. of all of your commercials. Put that on the ad. Well. Put that on the ads. Okay. So. Um, that's all I got. That's all I got for news. Um, so, I, I want to jump into it here. And this is... This is, I don't know why we got to keep on doing this because people just, they seem to love to come into the tag team. It's like the Royal Rumble. They just like one after another trying to come after the superstar money team uh, for just spitting facts uh, most of the time. But anyway, let's, let's pull up. Okay. So first of all, if you guys aren't following uh, LBB on, on Twitter, you can find like the top leaders of who's holding the most uh, VV collectibles. 
Uh, and this one here uh, is updated pretty often. A uh, bunch of great, great friends on here. I mean, you got Rolex, you've got uh, Michael Campa. Uh, we've had a bunch of these on the channel. I mean, uh, Mr. MC1 has been on the channel. Danny Boyliak has been on the channel. Uh, I mean, we, of course, Dr. Profit, uh, he's a huge participant in the VV platform. Um, but the question is, if you are on the, the upper echelon of this list, right? If you are, if you are one of those that holds the most collectibles, are you, are you allowed to just do whatever you want and say whatever you want and bully or try to try to peer pressure people into thinking your way just because you have a big bag on one of these projects? Doesn't even have to be Vivi. Maybe you have a big bag on any other project. Does that mean that because of that, your opinion matters more? Rob, what do you think about this? Well, let's let's start off by saying, like, obviously, everyone on this list is somebody who's who's committed a lot of their own financial. Uh, you know, they've had a financial commitment. They've put a lot of their own funds, I should say, uh, to the project. So they've spent a lot of money on the VV project. And it can be this one. There's all sorts of different projects out there. But when it comes to digital collectibles, when it comes to NFTs, when it comes to business in general, we have to ask ourselves the question. In the grand scheme of things, even if one person spends a lot, does that one person have the right to have more of a say of the direction of the company? I think that when it comes to digital collectibles and when it comes to NFTs in general, there's a massive amount of people and speculators that are here. Most people spending this kind of money are most likely going for price appreciation long term. They're doing it for speculative reasons. There's a whole financial aspect to this. And we saw it with the member with the whole uh, Dapper case on how back it, with in the Dapper situation um, and NBA Top Shot. Uh, the, they were arguing that, well, you know, you had a lot of control over our stuff and we bought these things with an expectation that your decisions directly would influence the value of our NFTs. And, and that led to a settlement. So and I, it wouldn't surprise me if people on this list maybe have a, the same mentality that because they've spent so much money, because the custodial wallets uh, that they may have more of a say than than someone else who has less, who's bought less, or the you know of eighty percent of the other people because that individual hasn't spent as much as as someone on this list. Uh, but we will say there's also some great people on this list that are friends with us, right, Joe? I mean, you can see yeah. it better than me. Well, like even you... uh, I mean, in, uh, one that is very very uh, level headed, Doctor Fuse. I mean, in the Discord all the time, chatting yeah. up with the VV fam. You can see him there in the top five. Um, and it's just, it's been great getting to know him. Uh, there's so many, so many other Todius. He, he's been in the discord as well. Oh, uh, obviously the Pluto master, uh, over there and it just, the list goes on. I mean, these guys, there's, there's a bunch from Twitter that you'll recognize the names. Uh, and, uh, just a lot of people who are very, very nice people on this list. Like that's, that's the thing. This is not an all encompassing list of people, uh, that do these types of things, but there are some that, that do um walk around this way and act this way and and feel as though criticisms of the project uh be it good or bad uh are are always bad and and can never be something um of value or valid it's not it's not important if because i hold this many collectibles so rob why don't you pull up some of the examples of what we're talking about but um yeah I, I mean it's just it's it's disappointing sometimes though uh to see the interactions that some people like to to, to do just because maybe how much they are holding on the platform so a bit of a backstory here so this all start started when second vv wallet j cole came into the cryptoids discord thinking right second yeah Right, thinking that he can come and post our video, which guys, we don't delete our stuff. When we post videos, we stand by them. We're here on a video format. When we put things in writing on Twitter, we stand by them. We put them on Discord, we stand by them. We don't delete our stuff. But he came in here because our video said everything that is wrong with crypto is not clickbait. And we did this video. It was a great, it was actually one of our favorites. Um, and it was really well received. Now specifically j cole came into here he's in our comments all the time he said all kinds of things but specifically he came in here thinking that this video would be ammunition for him to kind of tarnish us you know try to say look at these kind of ambassadors he said here are our cryptoids ambassadors meaning it in a way that kind of to say we shouldn't be and i'll get into that more i'm not just speculating that he actually specifically talks about termination um and we thanked him. It was so I was I, I was so happy he did this. I mean, we had TSBG here saying, 
first time listening to these guys, great pick for some ambassadors, right? We had new viewers because of, as a result of his post, we don't even post in here links. I don't, <laughs> know, I don't even know how he was able to post a link. I don't know you were allowed to post links, uh, but maybe uh, it's because he has a big bag. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't know. But uh, yeah, so like we, it was very well received. If you scroll down, there was a lot of people talking about very good video. And they just watching saying, the next video there too. Yeah. Yeah. Just saying that they loved, they loved the video and they thought it was great. Uh, and he's, you know, TSBG again, first time viewer, that's the type of approach. I like to see content. You both nailed it. Right. So really good feedback. So we went into the VV discord because he left actually, uh, he left the discord after posting that, or he was, he, I think he said he got banned, uh, because he said something else that was, was bad. And he, I think he got he, timed out or something like that. He got timed he out. Yeah. Some, and he, and I, we asked him, I, we said to him, thank you so much for posting this. Um, and it was, there was a bit of a back and forth and he posted this into the, uh, the VV discord. And I said, perfect. And he said, if you were an ambassador for Nike or any other big brand, you'd be terminated on the spot. Things like this are not good or funny for the brands in question. Please be more professional. I think it's just him taking himself a little bit too seriously because everybody liked it. You know, we didn't have any negative feedback at all except from him. And uh, if you keep going, I mean, these are all have since have all been deleted on the VV Discord. I don't know why. But of course, we have screenshots, so we can go over them and, and read them on this video and, and review them whenever we when we ever we like. Uh, and he said, "Yeah, one." Uh, I said, "Everyone who watched the video loved it, including the team. Just seems to see things. Just you seems to see things a bit differently." His response was, "Yeah, one of their biggest customers don't like it, and you guys act funny. Great ambassadorship." And I asked him, "Who's the biggest customer? What's he talking about?" And his response is, "His is this." It's his backpack. So this is why he inspired today's video. Just because you are a whale in any project, do you have more of a say like a shareholder of a company, of a private corporation? If you have all those, if you have more shares, you have more voting rights, should NFT projects and businesses like this work like this? Now, in the real world, there is an element of truth that maybe businesses do like to please some of their biggest customers. But if you look at the numbers you have here and you look at everything that Cryptoys has sold, the thousands and thousands that they have sold, I don't think that uh, that it, it works this way. So I said, oh, oh wow, great collection. Guess this, guess this decision by collection. Uh, and I, I don't, you know, Joe, we don't agree with that. I think that it doesn't matter how many collectibles you have, whether it's one, a hundred, a thousand. We both know that there's uh, definitely some guys with more than this, but uh, it doesn't matter how many you have. You have the right to share your opinion, but this to me seemed a bit entitled saying that, well, I'm one of their biggest customers, so they should listen to me. doesn't work like that. Just because you buy more of a product does not give you more of a decision on any company or more of an influence on any company. I don't know if you want to jump well, in here, Joel. I mean, being being one of the biggest holders on the Cryptoist platform, I think that you should be a little bit more in tune with how the actual community sentiment and how the community is over there. We spent a lot of time in the in the discord for the cryptoist platform we spend a lot of time in the cryptoist community we go on spaces uh all the time with the team uh we're we're talking about cryptoists on our twitter feed all the time we're going in the dms helping people figure things out we are actively pushing the community forward and the team is very aware of our efforts when it comes to that okay so don't come out here saying great ambassadors this and that because that team they know us they know us and when we put out a video with satire in it coming back at any of the fud that has been coming out on like the whole point of the video we came out and made fun of any of the fud about the project because the fud made no sense so if you actually watch the video which maybe you didn't even watch and yeah. you just like to comment on <laughs> thumbnails because we know that a lot of people like to comment on thumbnails because it gets to them so we keep making them we keep making them you are the reason we make our thumbnails so thank you so much for continuing to post our videos based off our thumbnails and making accusations and assumptions but you have to remember and i don't care how many you hold you could be number one wallet if you don't know our involvement in the Cryptoist platform on Twitter, on in the community, I mean, we are there. We are there and everybody in that community knows that we are there participating and heavily, heavily, heavily spreading that message to help the team get some more exposure. So for you to even think that we are not good ambassadors for the project or for you to even come out and say that out of your mouth, that Nike, if we were on every Nike post posting everything about nike letting everybody know what nike's brand mission is you think nike would care what the heck we posted if it was satirical like are you okay 
Are you okay? I just want I just want to know that because I think you have no clue what you're talking about, Jacob. And I'm gonna say it straight to your face. You have no clue what you're talking about, right? And this video we have to make about you is a joke. Like, why do I have to make this video about you? It's a joke. But I'm going to keep going here because that's not the only thing that's a joke, right? Because you come out here, you got number two wallet on Vivi. You're 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 the number two wallet. I mean, I think you mentioned it in one of these comments about how you're the number two wallet on Vivi, how your opinion matters so much. Well, I guess. Maybe you're the only one who thinks that because when you decide to go on another Discord, I'm not going to dox it, uh, and you and you say that you babies on VV Discord ban me again. Someone says, "What'd you get banned for?" Saying Alex and Dan should be fired. So like you're going on other Discords or on VV's Discord and telling them to to fire first of all the co-founder, which is ridiculous, and then secondly you're asking them to fire Alex, and then you you're how surprised you, that you're getting banned. Like what what kind of attitude you, is this? What kind of what kind of person goes around doing this, Rob? How do you fire a co-founder? I mean, they're the owner of the business, but what it's it's such a it's just so confusing that there's demands to fire the co-owner, the co-owner, while simultaneously being the second biggest wallet. It's just I, I'm just confused how that's connected. I, I don't know. At this point, is it because you know he before he had these feelings about you know, de removing Dan from the team, the co-founder who, who owns the business. And I don't know how you get rid of them. You can't, but maybe somewhere down the line, he had these feelings. And then, um, and then maybe he, he said, I have to keep going. I can't stop. Like maybe I've already purchased so many that I got to keep going. Maybe he just loves the thrill of the blind box, you know, going for those secret rares, right? Like maybe he's too, it's fun. Like it's fun. He wants to keep going for the, the drops, going for the secret rares, whatever his, his interests are, it doesn't really matter the rationale behind why he keeps buying and he wants to be up there on the top wallets. He obviously must believe in the project and that's why he's a second wallet. Well, I hate to say it though. You, that you can't be doing that and claim and calling for Dan to be removed from the team because he is an owner. Obviously you're going to get banned from the discord. If you make disrespectful comments in people's discord, specifically these companies like Vivi, um, I mean, you can come in our discord. No problem. We're not going to ban you. Come hang out. You can say whatever you want to us there. We can go back and forth. The mo we're the moderators, so we can have that discussion. Uh, but if you're going to go on the BB Discord, you're going to go on the Crypto Discord, and you're going to use that kind of language, you're going to say those kind of things. Um, and, I mean, you can say – there's ways you can say things without being completely flat out, straight up disrespectful. Like, would you start – and you had to delete some of the comments. I, I mean, I, I'm not going to go and read them again, but you said things that had to be deleted, right? There were, there were, there were things that you've said in the past, and – the moderators had to remove them and you've gone back, you delete on the comments. I don't know. Maybe now if you deleted them, it's a recognition that it was wrong and you shouldn't have said those things. I'm assuming for those comments, if you did delete them, because it's a discord, the moderators might've done it. Um, but uh, if I'm assuming, I'm assuming you stand by what you said, but if you did delete them, then you don't stand by it anymore. Uh, so you're backing off. Right. Um, and you know, you're in our comments, no problem. You know, you, you're free to come in our comments, but we're going to respond. Right. And, you know, you say, why do you keep trying to attack me? We're not attacking you. We are responding to you. This video is another response to this comment, okay? Why do you keep trying to attack me when you're proven wrong? Well, you just, you can't just say we're proven wrong. We're, what, what are you talking about? Where, where did you prove us wrong? Is that what you do to divert the truth? It's in your video. You said it. It's not slander if you said it in the video. And then we have a response here. Who's attacking you? Telling you not to slander a name is attacking you. All we're doing is, is, is stopping you from spreading misinformation about us using proof to dismiss your false claims. Troll us anytime, but we never fight. We just provide facts. You like facts or not, it's a different story. If you don't like facts. Um, and this is this has been a long well, time. Yeah, yeah, let's go back, go back to that. Give give some context. What what was he saying that he was proving from our video? It's it's about off app gem sales. Off app which, gems. By the way, we never did. We never sold one gem off app, but we did facilitate people to find a safe way to do so if they were going to be buying off app gems because it's it deleted. was not banned and it's, <laughs> it's well, anyway yeah anyway regardless the 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 accusations were that we were participants in selling off app gems which are not true we facilitated people to find safe means to do so if they were going to do so because people were getting scammed at the time and we didn't want to see any of the superstars get scammed so we said if you're gonna be buying off app gems this is kobe this is who was doing it at the time and we knew that anybody who went through him would not get scammed. Um, the other thing is that it was completely legal at the time. And Rob, I think you have that that tweet pulled up. Exactly. So just a reminder, and I've had this conversation with straight MCP, your buddy that you added 
Uh, you want to bring them in before your 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 tweet got deleted or your Discord uh, chat got deleted there. This is directed to all, but specifically YouTube, because you keep trying to use off-app gems and our history with them, being able to use our platform to get Kobe to give a, a, a superstar nation the ability to buy them. During this time period, when VD is here saying the situation was completely different. Buying gems off app is discouraged people from getting scammed, but it's not been a bannable offense. We did the same thing. We were helping people not get scammed by doing this. And we didn't make money off of it. We gave them to someone we Zero met money. in person, someone from our city who we met and we said, okay, well, if you're doing this, we're VV, David Hughes on record talking about off app gems not being an issue. People have videos of it. Recently, I've seen one posted. So you cannot keep saying that we did something wrong when the fact of the matter is, is literally it's a fact. It's an undebatable fact that it was not a bannable offense and there was nothing wrong with it. We did it in a way to help Superstar Nation benefit on how all the other whales were benefiting. They were all doing it. And we gave the little guy the ability to also do it in a safe way. The day that VV banned it and changed their terms, we stopped it and we never participated in it again. And these are the false claims that you say. <laughs> again, deleted comments. You make these comments and then you delete them, but we got screenshots. You guys are committing fraud for your own personal gains. Are you ashamed? Prove it. What are you talking about? What fraud are we committing? We, we literally post every day. We're an open book. Please explain to us. There's no response to this. We asked. The only fraudulent thing is the misinformation you're consistently trying to spread about us. You went in the crypto discord to try to spin a narrative. And what, when others didn't agree with you, you left the server, which is now true. You definitely did leave the server uh, with your tail between your legs. Are you ashamed at all? I'll see you next video. You are allowed to criticize us. You are allowed to troll us. But if you're going to make false claims like we are committing fraud, we will stand up for it, and we have the right to respond to that. Please don't then play victim and say we're attacking you. We are responding to your false claims about what we do, and that's what we're doing in today's video. This is not an yeah. attack. This is a direct response now to you and what you said to us. With that being said, you gave us a great idea, though, <laughs> full circle. Because you're a whale, do you have now a choice, and do you now have the right and the entitlement to demand from your company how they need to do things, who they should fire, how they should terminate this ambassador, they should terminate this co-founder and owner. The owner should co to just terminate themselves. They should terminate this uh, marketing manager. And I think the answer is no. Just because you somebody who wants to go and participate and purchase the product, you don't have the right and the entitlement to be listened to. That you could still give them your opinion. You can go and tell whoever you want. You want us removed from the ambassadorship. But you should not do it with an expectation that you're entitled to be listened to as a result of how much money you spend, well, period. It's clear that throwing around words like fraud and, and all these things that he's trying to, to get out there, trying to discredit us and, and spread some kind of defamation of our character. Uh, so 1000% we're going to respond to you every single time, be it in the VV Discord, anywhere, anywhere that you're spreading false claims and lies without proof and without any backing, we're going to do that. I mean, your buddy straight MCP, he blocked us for whatever reason, uh, having no conversation with him ever. I mean, I don't know what kind of people that, that, that are doing this when uh, whatever, I guess he was not happy that we were helping the little guy. Maybe only the big people were allowed to play that game. But regardless, um, like you mentioned earlier, Never made one penny off of off app gems. We're going to triple down on that and let you guys know that. We also never did anything or even facilitated beyond the change in terms of service, which is very clear timeline uh, if you were here during that time. But, uh, I mean, coming on the comments, every single video, we know that you love watching us. So appreciate that every single time. You're probably the one who thumbs down the video before it even starts. I mean, we always see one thumbs down. So, I mean, keep doing that. That's good for you. But uh, if you keep doing this, we're going to keep responding and we won't stop. And if you don't know that, we're the most consistent channel on YouTube. We post every single day. Like we post every single day about digital collectibles. And you love digital collectibles because you're a big whale on all the platforms that you collect on. I don't see the disconnect here. I don't understand what your problem is. But if you continue to do this, we'll continue to respond. Yeah. I mean, we're in this space for a reason. We talk about this stuff every day. 
you know, we obviously might have different opinions on things, but as time goes on, we point back to our previous videos uh, to help encourage discussion. It's great to go back sometimes and listen to AMAs. So you're free to keep watching every video. You're, I'm sure you're watching right now. Um, we wish you the best, but at the same time, just remember we will respond to any of those false claims. Um, and yeah, like if you're another whale who's watching, I would love to hear your thoughts. Do you think you have a right uh, to sway and and influence a company because of how much you've spent there? Uh, or do you believe uh, that you have to abide by the same rules and abide by the same, um, I guess, you know, client business relationship um, as anyone else? Because usually if you're not happy with the business, the first thing you do is you just stop buying the product, right? Uh, you kind of boycott them. That's what we've seen before. If you're not happy with the way a certain business is doing things, if you want someone fired and all this, usually what people do naturally is they just start backing off and they, they no longer uh, purchase the product. But if, if you continue to purchase the product, that tells the business that what they're doing is actually okay. It's good, right? There's no issue. So We'd love to hear you guys' thoughts below. Let us know in the comments below. What do you guys think about today's video? Um, uh, we spotlighted a specific whale, but you can let us know in general, out of just the general theory, is it okay to be entitled if you spent a lot of money on one of these small business platforms, um, if, whether you still consider it a small business or not? Is it okay if you spend a lot of money on an NFT project to have more of a say? Is it okay? Because these are not traditional shares, right? There's no voting rights. Is it okay to tell a private business that their co-owner and their marketing manager has to be removed? Let us know in the comments below. If you haven't already, don't forget. Become a superstar. Smash the subscribe button. Join the Superstar fam. Hit the bell notification button to get every single video every single day. Also, store Superstar VIPs, $2.99 a month. Get the star beside your name. Ask for a special giveaways, guys. Thank you so much. Take care. See you next one. Bye-bye.